peace of mind With the city so cold in the winter time In my mind, stuck in my mind It gets dark, it gets dark inside Trying to find some peace of mind With the city so cold in the winter time In my mind, stuck in my mind It gets dark Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, it's your boy Midnight, man. I know it's raining hella crazy right now. Um, you guys, everybody be safe. If you in Bay, you know what I mean, be safe. Um, drive carefully, you know. Um, I'm making this video because I was guided to make this video. Um, I honestly, I wasn't, I was gonna, honestly, I was gonna wait to make a video till tomorrow because I'm off, you feel me? Um, I was gonna make my romantic pick card, which I'm still gonna do. I'm gonna do that tomorrow though, not today. Um, I was gonna do that, you know, honestly. But uh, when I was working today, um, I was, I was, I was guided, you know what I mean, to make this video. And I've made a video like this before, you know. Um, I might have even had one of them as one of my first few videos is a similar topic, you know what I mean, in this, uh, in this, uh, in my YouTube channel. It was probably one of the first few, ones. I believe I made one. I think I did, make, I, I did post one on there um, for um, this topic, but... Today I was I was guided to make this video. I didn't plan on making this video. I mean, I was kind of just I was really just guided to make this video. I have to make this video. You know what I mean? It's like the the most important thing is being obedient. You gotta be obedient. You know. Um, and if you're obedient, then um, um, you continue to you know what I mean flourish and, and grow because you're 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 being true to, to who you are and 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 following um, the guidance from from spirit and the divine you know what I mean so I'm making this video for somebody you know what I mean and somebody there's somebody um, somebody needs to hear this you know what I mean I I mean this is this video is timeless so um, if you're finding this video, it doesn't even matter if it's 10 years from now, 5 years from now, a couple months, or right now. You know, if you find this video, then you are meant to find this video. Um, just, uh, to sit back and listen, you know what I mean? Because I got, you know, for me to make this video, I just gotta be, um, transparent as possible. And I also gotta just be authentic and to be supportive because I feel when you're going through a situation like this is you got to you, you you got to be supportive and nurturing because it's not easy going through this um, situations like this and um, what we're going to talk about is the dark night of the soul that's what this video is about it's about the dark night of the soul and this is important because people that get to a point where they have to go through a dark night of the soul, it's not an easy process. You know what I mean? For me personally, um, I I never expected to go through um, a dark night of the soul. I didn't even, I didn't even, I wasn't even privy to understand the knowledge. Ooh, this just fell out. Wow. Four of Swords. This just fell out right here. So, this is for something. Coming Coming back. It's coming back from the darkness. But being protected at the same time. You see, you see how how this person is like a they're like a um, what do you call it? A vampire that's coming out of the oh, you can't even really see it, huh? It's like a vampire coming out of the uh, the coffin, but you see all like the daggers on top. That's like 
coming back from the dead. You know what I mean? Coming back from the darkness, bro. All of these attacks, you know what I mean? All of these attacks that these people try to do, you feel me? Still protected, though. Um, talk about the dark night of the soul. Um, this is an important topic because, like I said, if you find this video, then this video is for you, man. You know what I mean? Like, it's just to give you information and to, to give you confidence and to give you the necessary guidance. Um, because what the dark night of the soul really is, just on a basic level, is basically... It's just like purging everything that's 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 not authentic and pushing you into who you really are. It's almost like it's, it's to me. I personally, I just feel like it's divinely. It's like a divine like event. You know what I mean? It's kind of like it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like an uh, it's kind of like an event that happens to you. It's to make you better, but when you're going through it, you don't you don't see it that way. You don't see it that way because you're you're in the darkness, bro. You know what I mean? It's like it's like imagine this, man. It's, imagine this, bro. Like imagine imagine your whole life, right? You lived a certain way. You grew up a certain way. Like you were taught as a youngster. You know what I mean? That um, that you're supposed to be this 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 aggressive like you know what i mean street dude you know what i mean on the streets and just like you're tired like you were raised in that environment you were raised in an environment to just be this freaking demon bro you know what i mean like because because the world is kind of like that that way it's like it's, it's, it's trying to make you be a certain way you feel me and let's just say your whole life, all you, you're taught, like you're, that's what you were taught, you know what I mean? You were taught to be this, this, this demon, you know what I mean? This, this, this person that just does, uh, just the most terrible things to people, you know what I mean? Like robbing people, freaking, you know what I mean? Trying to, trying to, trying to, trying to, uh, gang bang or something like that, you know what I mean? Like you're... You, you, you were taught this as a youngster and this is the path that you were that you chose and this is the path that you that you that you're riding through at this very moment right like you you getting ready to just pull a lick you know what I mean with with all these people that you that, you, that was around you who you grew up with and you thought were real um, influences in your life. I'm just using this as an example. I'm not. This is not no. This is not no freaking. I'm trying to. I'm trying to use an example so you can understand what 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 the context I'm talking about is, right? Well, imagine you grew up in this environment and you're just like this, this big old street dude. You know what I mean? Like you were just known for just putting in work. You like you were just known for just uh, pulling licks on on fools, or you were just known for for being this. Heartless freaking demon, you know what I mean, and just doing the most to people, you know what I mean, with no remorse at all, bro. You know what I mean. And then let's just say that you ended up, you ended up accidentally like um, uh, killing somebody or something. You know what I mean. You accidentally did that, right? Now. Everyone around you was kind of putting you up on, you know, kind of putting you up on it to, 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 to do what you did. But the second that you did it, right, you were living in your authentic self. Well, at least the authentic self that you were, um, that you were at the moment. You know what I mean? Like you were being authentic to who you was because that's. Who you thought you was, right? But after that happens, um, you get caught up. You know what I mean? You get caught up. You get caught up in the system or something. You know what I mean? And somehow, some way, 
everyone, all the homeboys, all the people around you, bro, you know what I mean? All the people that you thought had your back, you know what I mean? All the people that, you know what I mean, uh, say they got so much love for you or whatnot, bro. They, um, they disappeared on you and they left you to, they, they left you to, uh, to deal with the consequences of, um, uh, of murdering or killing somebody, you know what I mean? And that event triggers something with it inside you, right? You're going through all this turmoil. Everyone that you've known in your life that you thought was loyal to you did just disappeared, bro. You know, left you, left you to take care of that. You know, all on your own, bro. You know what I mean? You had a freaking murder beef. You know what I mean? A murder beef, and you was you was going through. The system at this very moment and while you were inside you realized because you you got you got locked let's just say you got locked up with somebody just like just some random person right and then this person was talking to you and something that he said sparked something in you because you were at a very low point in your life right and you didn't realize that um, you didn't, or you started to realize that you're in this all by yourself, bro. Right? You're all, you're in this all by yourself, and nobody can help you, right? And then it hits you like a ton of bricks, bro. That everything that you were taught, everything that you went through, everybody that you thought was real to you. wasn't wasn't real to you you know what I mean you started to realize that the person that you was was a false false version of yourself you know what I mean but it took you going through this horrendous experience this horrendous event for you to finally realize and get the download that this is not who I really am. And just the 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 weight of an epiphany that deep, right? Is so profound that you started questioning everything about yourself and your life. You started questioning your upbringing you started questioning who you was you started questioning life itself the existence your purpose you started looking at it like what am I doing what is this you started to realize that your whole life was just faulty shell of who you really are and it hits you like a ton of bricks because your life is falling apart your life is falling apart everything that you knew about yourself was breaking apart and falling to the ground and disintegrating right in front of your eyes and it just hits you out of nowhere like like that that you were living a lie. You were living something that you wasn't. And it took this horrendous, crazy event for you to realize this, right? So, you get to a point where you don't you don't know who you are. You know what I mean? Because you're questioning yourself. Like, who the. If that's not who I am, who am I? You know? Why am I here? What is this? You know? And that's the beginning of somebody's dark night of the soul. And I use that as an example. You know what I mean? I use that as an example. reversed.
got the emperor reversed. It's being controlling, you know what I mean? Being ruthless and being crazy, you know? Um, and to break it down, honestly, the Dark Knight of the Soul really is just... basically shedding and breaking down everything that's not authentic to who you really are you know what I mean because there's times in your life where or there's 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 gonna be if you're I don't want to say blessed to go through it because it's the hardest like for me personally my dark night of the soul is the hardest times of my life you know I can I can I can say that with no doubt in my mind bro that that was the hardest times of my life, you know what I mean? But when I was going to do it, I didn't understand. I didn't understand what was going on, bro. I started losing everything. I lost everything, you know? I lost all, just started seeing just your life fall apart, you know what I mean? And you start to feel, you start to question yourself and you even start feeling like you're going crazy, bro. You know what I mean? You're like, man, I'm, what is going on here? I don't understand this, you know? But that process is all about just shedding. It's like, it's like a, it's like if you like, in your unawakened state, you were like a snake, right? You're like a snake. You've been, you've been, you've been crawling through the, the, the wilderness, you know, all by yourself. Thinking that you, you out here trying to just eat every everything around you bro like don't care no worries i'm just gonna gobble this stuff because i'm a snake right and then the dark night the dark night hits you you start shedding all that skin man and then you just realize that you you you're not really a snake bro you were just programmed to be a snake you know and you're going through the dark night for a reason you're going through the dark night because you're gonna start to shed all the things that aren't authentic in your life, you know what I mean? And it's painful and it's hard, you know, I, I can't lie to you, this is a, it's a really hard experience because you get to a point where it's kind of like, if this is a me then, like, who am I, you know? It's a, it's, a, it's a really hard situation and the reason why I feel like I have to make this video is because it's to tell you, you know, it's to tell you that if you're going through a dark night of the soul, don't fear, don't fear the change because everything is changing around you and you are going to come out like a phoenix. You know what I mean? It's like, it's kind of like, it's kind of like that. Uh, it's like a caterpillar into a butterfly. Like that type of, that type of metaphor is perfect actually. It's like you were a caterpillar before. That's all you knew was being a caterpillar. And then it was kind of like the divine said it. Boom, it's time for you to stop being a caterpillar because that's not who you really are. And it's time for you to change. And you're gonna change it to this butterfly. This beautiful butterfly and you're gonna fly in the sky and you're gonna you're gonna find your purpose and you're gonna you're gonna do what you're supposed to do you know in this life you know that's why you know you going through the dark night of soul don't don't look at it don't fight it you know I, that's that's one of the biggest things I can tell you right now don't fight it if you're going through it don't fight the change the reason why I say that is because when you start fighting that change it's gonna be harder on you, it's gonna be tougher, and it's gonna last longer. It's gonna last longer, that the whole metamorphosis state is gonna last longer, it's gonna be extended. You know, you have to surrender. That's important, that's important. That's one of the reasons why I'm making the video is to tell you to surrender. If you're going to do it, surrender and trust. Trust that you're gonna become you're gonna become your authentic self, you know? You're gonna be like this, this, this shining star in the night sky, bro. That's what you're gonna be, you know what I mean? 
You're not gonna be these. These, these. <sighs> Sorry, I'm tired. It's been a long week, you know what I mean? Uh, but I'm still making this video. You know I'm tired. I'm still making this video because, like I said, I'm guided to make this video. You know, I have to make this video, and it's for it's for somebody or it's for people. Some some person out there who's gonna watch this one day. You know what I mean? And it's gonna help them. It's gonna it's gonna help them realize that 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 they can get through it and and and, and not to fight the changes because you are. <laughs> You're gonna be the fool Stepping forward, you know Taking a leap of faith into your destiny and who you are, you know what I mean? And to believe in yourself, you know what I mean? To believe in your power and that you are gonna be your authentic version That's what I'm telling you right now When you're going through it, you don't see that You don't see that aspect of it you, all you see, all you know is that you're questioning your reality. You know what I mean? And you're going through a lot of changes in your life. You know what I mean? You're actually going through the, the biggest change that you're ever going to be in in life. You know, a lot of times, like for me personally, I feel like the dark night of the soul is this divine intervention. That's what I feel. Um, people can believe what they want to believe. You know what I mean? Like for me, I believe in I believe in uh, the cosmic records and like soul contracts. Like we all, we all. That was just your life is was a the major adventure in your life was 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 already planned ahead. It was already known. It's just. It's just free will and everything. It, uh, it makes you just change the route you go, but you end up going through the same landmarks, you know what I mean, to get to the finish line. You know what I mean? It's like you're meant to go through these detours and these, these roads, you know what I mean? Um, and no matter which way you take, you still end up to the same landmarks and you still end up to the same destination. It's just sometimes you take the wrong turn and you're lost for a while. Till you get back on track, you know what I mean. And when you're done, when you're done with your transformation, and, and you shed, you shed it, you shed all that unauthentic version of yourself, you know what I mean. And then once you come out of that, bro, you just become like this. I can't even explain it, man. It's kind of like uh, your true self, you know what I mean. The version of you. That's real, you know what I mean? Cause you're shedding all of this, all this stuff out of your life, man. Everything that that you thought you were supposed to be, you're shedding everything, man. Don't fight the process, man. Don't fight the process, you know what I mean? Take the change, cause the change, the change is gonna make you better. You know, it's like. It's like, it's like, it's, <laughs> it's like when you, it's like when you take a shower, bro, when you get ready for work. <laughs> it's like you wake up, right? You hella tired, you know, you hella tired, and you know you gotta get ready for work, right? You're dirty, and you're just nasty, filthy, you know, breath stank and everything. And then you go into the shower, you remove all of this clothes and all of this artificial crap that was that that was attached to you. You jump in the shower, you cleanse all of the dirt, the nasty, the you know, all of the 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 negativity, all of that stuff that was that was who you was before you jumped in the shower and you become the clean like a new version like mr clean you're looking fresh you're feeling you're feeling 
you feeling different, you know what I mean? You jump out the shower, then you throwing on some new, fresh, clean clothes and some, you know, some new drawers that you just bought or something. Got a fresh hat, you know, you just gonna put on. And you look totally different than the person that jumped out of the bed and got in the shower, you know what I mean? Cause you changed, right? That's a transformation, you transformed. That's what the dark night of the soul is too, bro. You're transforming. You transforming. You becoming. You becoming the, the real self. You know what I mean? That is an accomplishment. And I want you to know. If you're going through that right now, to not be scared. Don't be afraid of the change. You have to. You have to accept the change. Accept the unauthentic versions of yourself. And let it go. Because you're changing into the butterfly now, man. That's what you're gonna become, you know? You're gonna be this magnificent butterfly that's beautiful and majestic. That you have you never knew what you actually you never knew that you were that. You always thought you were a caterpillar. Slow, you know, ugly cat caterpillar, but you, but in reality you're actually a butterfly. You just, you haven't, you haven't transformed into it yet though. And it's like leveling up, you know what I mean? But it's the biggest level up of your life because you're getting rid of anything that's authentic, you know what I mean? And it is scary, you know, it is scary to see those versions, those parts of yourself disintegrate into into your memory like you know what I mean it's scared to go through that I understand that I know you know but you can't allow that to to hold you back and you can't allow that to 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 stop who you who you really are because that's what you becoming you're becoming who you are the more powerful the more authentic the more the more divine version of yourself your real self and that's something that needs to be clapped for it's like it's like it's like graduating from high school or something you know what i mean like that deserves an ovation you know you made it through you made it through you made it through all of that and now you're you're a graduate you're a graduate and now you're ready to face the world, to be who you're supposed to be, and be the, the, the most amazing version of yourself, the realest version of yourself, and the version that could change the world. You know what I mean? You have that potential. You have that potential to be the one to, to, to help the world, man, change. You gotta be proud of that, man, you know? And don't be scared. Of the unauthentic versions of yourself um, disappearing because that's that's not who you really are. What you are when you come out is who you really are. You know what I mean? You're leveling up, man. Congratulations. You made it this far. That deserves an applause. If you're going through it, have faith and trust. And I'm here to help you, guide you, bro. Because for me, I had nobody. I had nobody to reference for this. For my, when I went through it, there was nobody that understood what I was going through. You know? I had to figure it out on my own, bro. Because every time, every time I tried to explain what I was going through, Nobody could understand it. It's, and the reason why that is, is because of resonance. They can't resonate with that, that, that energy, that level that, that you're at at that moment. It's kind of like, it's kind of like trying to, trying to uh, uh, speak English in China or something, bro. They can't understand you. No matter what you say. You can say, your words slow, you say it fast, they're still not gonna understand what you're saying. And it's the same thing, you know? You can't explain 
You can't you can't tell somebody that's blind what what a door looks like. You know what I mean? You can't tell somebody, you know what I mean? It's like it's like you can't you can't you can't tell somebody what a sound sounds like if they're deaf. You can't do that. They can't understand that. They can't comprehend that. They're not able to comprehend that. They have to be awakened to even fathom the concepts that you're 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 speaking of. You know what I mean? It's it's it's, it's, it's tough because it's like you you're speaking another language to to everyone else, bro. They can't. Their their level isn't high enough to understand what you're talking about, man. You know. And it makes you sometimes you feel like you're going crazy, bro. You know? It was a time off. I felt like I was going crazy. I was like, what is going on here? Nobody understands what I'm talking about, man. And it, and it, and it makes you, it makes you, you know what it does though? Honestly, it's, I'm going to be honest with you. It makes you, what do you call it? Doubt your real, your real self. You know what I mean? It makes you doubt that. You know what I mean? Because no one else, no one else understands and no one else can feel you. You know what I mean? But I'm gonna change that, and that's the reason why I'm guided to make this video. I'm changing that. I'm changing that narrative. Because if you go and do this, I'm telling you to be strong and to trust, trust these changes. And I understand you. I feel you. And if you ever need. You ever want or you need anything and I have the knowledge or whatever the the strength that you need to, to to get through whatever you the dark night of the soul man all you gotta do man is hit me up email me bro if you're going through this dark night of the soul and you, you really feel alone and you don't know you have nobody to talk to about any of this 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 these deep spiritual concepts you know what i mean then just email me bro you know what i mean i mean i'm i'm your guide for a reason you know what i mean i'm i'm, I'm here doing this i'm here on my platform i'm here making this video for a reason and I'm, I'm i'm doing this for for all of you guys out there you know what i mean that really need it bro i'm putting myself out there to help you guys you know what i mean that's what i'm here to do I'm here to teach. I'm here to heal. I'm here to enlighten. That's what I'm here to do. One of my purposes. And that's the reason why I'm making this video. Because I'm guided to help you. Because I, for me, I never, I didn't have anybody. You know what I mean? Nobody understood what I was talking about. Everyone made me feel like I was, I was going crazy. You know what I mean? And it really, it really, it really, I felt like it really just made me what do you call it? Kind of doubt my authentic version and to, to push it in the back and and to just not be my fully my full authentic self, which is what you see now. What you see right here now is the is the the sum of all of the pain and struggles that I went through before. You know what I mean? My strength and, and, and being being who I am, you know what I mean, and even uh, even going to the realization of of not caring about what people think about me, and to just do what my purpose is, and to help all of you guys. That's why I'm doing this. I'm guided to do this, and, and that's the reason. You know what I mean? For me personally, I don't really care. I don't care what all these other people think or you know what I mean I don't care what 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 they what they think they know about me or or their opinions about me you know what I mean that is the strength in me you know what I mean that is what I became that's how strong I am because I don't care about what all these other people do because they don't know what they're talking about you know what I mean if they knew what they were talking about then you know let me let me let me hear let me hear what kind of knowledge let me let me listen let me listen and hear what what you got to say and what you got to teach bro you know what i mean because if you got if you got some some spiritual knowledge or some like deep 
game, you know what I mean? About life and everything. I want to hear it, man. Because my whole life, man, that's all I was, bro. I was a sponge since I was a youngster, man. And I was just soaking in everything I can from anybody, you know what I mean? Because I understood. Look, for me, I understood. Look, the power. Oh, there's another video, but I'm going to get into it a little bit right now. The power of conversation, you know what I mean? That's another video, though. I'll just, you know what? I'll just tap into it just a little bit. The, the power of conversation. Conversation is language, right? Language is communication, right? But we're, you know, everyone's taught that communication is just verbal communication. Like, you're just communicating what, you, what you're saying, but you don't really realize what's actually happening in our, in the conversation. Because look, the world is energy, right? Everything is energy, whether you believe it or not, bro. Everything is energy. You know? Everything's connected. That's another thing. That's another one. You gotta realize. Everything's connected. Everything is energy. So what actually is happening in a conversation? You know? Think about it. Ask yourself that question. What is actually happening in this... In the conversation, what is actually happening? Think about this, right? If you were a person and you were sitting right next to me right now and we were actually conversating about this, it would actually be a conversation, right? But since there's nobody in front of me and all that there is is a camera, right? I'm basically conversating with a camera, right? But what is conversation then? The transfer of energy. The transfer of of energy and that is what's so amazing about technology nowadays I can transfer my energy to all of you guys right the power of conversation so amazing so graceful so hidden you know that's another video though I, you know, I, don't, <laughs> I shouldn't get into that topic right now but we talk about Dark Knight of Soul, man. So Dark Knight of Soul, I mean, it's a spiritual awakening. But it, to me, it's a spiritual awakening times a hundred. You know what I mean? Because you're 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 awakening to who you really are. You, your 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 body is just. All the unauthentic stuff is just getting broken apart. You're just, you're becoming who you really are, man. And that's just amazing. And if you found this video, man, I applaud you again. How many times have I applauded you? Three, four times. Congratulations, you made it, man. You made it to a point in your life where you are going to be your true self. <laughs> Don't you? You don't understand the importance and just the the milestone that is in your life to just break free from all of this. I'm gonna call it Halloween mass. That because every let's face it, man. You we living in a world where everybody is wearing a Halloween mask 24/7, bro. You know what I mean? You just don't realize that you're wearing a mask and a costume, right? You don't, you don't even know that. <laughs> you don't know that until you go through the dark night of the soul and you, you wake up. Congratulations, you just woke up. I gotta applaud you again for that one. I got to applaud you for that, man. Because you're going through the hardest things in your life right now, man. And I support you. I show you, I give you the love of light, whatever you need, man, to make it past the transformation and to become the butterfly you are. Hey, I give you whatever you need, man, to, to, to make it, to make it, it's like, it's like going through a tunnel, right? Your whole life, you, 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 you were, you were, you were riding a train. You were riding, your whole life you were riding a train, right? Out in, in the mid, a uh, 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 grassy knoll where everything was, was was nice and sunny and bright and everything and then BAM you 
enter a tunnel. Everything is dark. You don't see anything. Nothing but darkness. And you don't know where. You don't know how far this tunnel is. You don't know where the exit is. All you know is that you're going through the darkness blind, blinded with nothing but questions about yourself and life and reality. And you're going through that darkness. So I'm going to be that guy for you. I'm going to be the light inside that cave for you. And I'm telling you right now to be strong and to keep believing and understand that you're just getting rid of all the unauthentic stuff in your life. And right when you break out of that cave, that tunnel, you're going to see the sunlight and the world's going to be different for you. You're going to see the world in, in a manner that you were meant to see it. And you were going to be this amazing, you know what I mean, individual. And you're going to find your purpose. And you're going to be somebody that can change your world, change your environment, change everybody that knows you. Because you're going to be that light, that that true original version of who you really are. And you are going to shine that beautiful version of yourself to every person that you meet in this life and what that means is you are changing the world and I applaud you for that I applaud you for that because it's not easy it's not hard I know it's difficult you don't understand what's going on you don't know you feel alone you're not alone I'm here with you I'm here with you you know what I mean Energetically, spiritually, I'm here with you. I'm guiding you. I'm protecting you through the darkness until you get to the other side of the tunnel. And then you're gonna be who you are. You're gonna be beautiful. You're gonna be amazing. You're gonna be. You're gonna be something that you never even dreamed or imagined that you could be. That's what you're gonna be, and that's who. You, that's who you really are. And I'm happy. I'm happy that you made through the darkness because it's not easy it's, it's gonna be the hardest thing you've ever been through in your whole life man I just wanna sit here and give you the strength and the the the, the confidence to, to, to believe in yourself and to just walk through that darkness with with the intent of knowing that you are gonna be the greatest version of yourself you have me to guide you, to help you, to support you, to give you the light. I'm like the, I'm like the little flashlight. I'm like, a, <laughs> it's like if you go through the dark night of the soul, bro. I'm like that little, I'm like a little flashlight. You know, it's like right when you went inside and you, the second you were lost, right? You bumped your head on the wall. You fell to the ground and then your hand actually grabbed this little flashlight this little flashlight and you turn it on and that's all that's all you got to get through this dark night of the soul and become your greatest version that's all you got and I'm gonna be that for you bro you know what I mean I'm gonna help you I'm gonna support you I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you all the confidence and the guidance that you need to get through this dark night of the soul and be who you really are that's part of my that's part of me that's that's part of that's a part of who I am man you know what I mean I'm here to help you I'm here to guide you I'm here to to I'm here to bring you to the light and the other side man that's what I'm here one of the reasons why I'm here the earth angel but I had to go through the dark night of the soul to fathom or understand what what I am, you know what I mean? I'm an earth angel. I'm here for you. Believe that. I'm not gonna let you down, bro. You feel me? I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna help you succeed. I'm gonna help you get past all of this darkness. And I'm gonna gonna make sure that you, you become your true authentic version. I'm gonna make sure that you 
I promise that, you know what I mean? I promise that. That's coming from Earth Angel, you know, because what you don't realize is like people sit and they pray. They pray for something to come into their life to help them with whatever they're going through. That's what our Earth Angel is. That's what we are. People think that our Earth Angel, like what what, what do you think? What do you think an, an angel looks like? You think it's gonna be like a freaking person wearing a white gown with big wings, you know what I mean? And a, and a, and a freaking harp, you know what I mean? Singing lullabies, you know what I mean? You think that's what 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 a, what, a, what, a, what an earth angel is supposed to look like? Freaking trumpets in the background? No, that's not what it is. You know you're in the presence of an earth angel because of the energy, the way they make you feel, the way they affect you, the way they're here to help you with what you're going through. Like the dark night of the soul. Have no fear, cause fear is an illusion. Like I, like my other post, fear is an illusion. Fear is, is meant to try to make you limit, limit what you can actually be. You know what I mean? So you gotta break them limits, because fear is an illusion. And you be who you are, trust in yourself. And, and, and understand that you're going to be the greatest version of yourself after you get past this dark night of soul. Alright, this is a 50 minute video from your boy Midnight. I was guided to make this video. Trust in yourself. Trust in the transformation. Believe in yourself. Question everything. You know what I mean? Question everything. Gain the knowledge you're supposed to be. And watch all the unauthentic stuff fall out of your life. And you become the greatest version of yourself. And you become the best version of yourself. And you start to be your true self and the truest truest version of who you really are and be the light that you are thank you for watching this video from your boy midnight and i hope if you find this video that i helped you i gave you strength i gave you i gave you a little bit of light in the darkness you know what i mean to help you get past any fears or any any type of negativity you're going through i want you to believe in yourself and and, and trust trust that you, everything's gonna be everything's gonna be okay and that you're gonna be who you really are thank you for watching this video like share subscribe you know uh, continue to watch my videos and I'm gonna continue to keep producing what I can to help all you guys out because I love doing it and I love y'all and I'll see y'all when you become your true authentic self <sighs> private traps, clamped in them, and none of us can ever get out.
sometimes we deliberately step into those traps. What do we got here? <laughs> what is that? I can't even read it. The Hanged Man. Let's see what the book actually has to say about that. You know, I'm curious. Where is the Hangman in this? Let's find out. Let's see. Judgment. Tower, the hangman. All right, let's read this for you guys. For my bonus video. Confined by life's trappings, the hangman becomes complacent, succumbing to the decisions that led him to an avoidable demise. Ooh. Upright. Are you compromising? Giving in to what does not make sense can leave you trapped and bound by your choices. Break free while you can. Reversed. Are you in a precarious situation you cannot escape? The walls of life's cage can close in on you, making it feel impossible to break the chains that bind you. Even though the situation feels hopeless, there's still a way out. You just have to find it. Exactly, bro. It's like when you go into the dark night of the soul. It's like you're hanging. You're in this perpetual state of just being hung, left, left to die. But what you don't realize that what you're not actually dying. What is dying is the unauthentic version of yourself. And you're going to be reborn like a phoenix. You're going to be reborn to be who you really are. And that's amazing, you know. The journey is struggle. The journey is hard. The journey is not to be easy. The divine path is never easy. But you have to level up, baby. And the Dark Knight of the Soul is the biggest level up you will ever have in your life. So you could, you could sit here and you could hang forever fighting, fighting the Dark Knight of the Soul. Or you could let all that unauthentic stuff die and become your greatest version. I believe in you. I trust in you. And I'll see you when you get to that other side. Peace.